You know, I mean, one of the things last week, a lot of the focus, of course, was on the tragedy of what happened to the people of Israel. A lot of the attention has shifted now to what's happening in Gaza. Can you give me some sense of, again, whether it's public sentiment or your own sentiment as to what the end game, you know, has to be here for a resolution? Um, I don't know. So first, I, I personally feel for the people in Gaza right now, most of them have nothing to do with, terror, uh, with terrorists. They've been, I think, taken hostage uh, uh, by Hamas, although they have their supporters in there. It's not totally hostage, but most people just want to live their lives and and, and are, are miserable right now. They're um, like uh, over a million people in Gaza right now are have been like evicted. Some uh, they're dead people injured. Uh, so it's very tragic. Uh, I'm not sure what the end game is. There is one thing that's clear that Hamas cannot be there. Like Israelis would not accept. It will not, entire communities were raised. Like people dead, uh, burnt, uh, uh, all the houses are burnt, scorched earth. So, mm -hmm. and, and for Israel to return, like Hamas cannot be there. They prove that they're, they're not kind of a, a pragmatist. They're, they're ISIS, right? So, it's like Al Qaeda. It's just what happened in Bin Laden. That's the thing. After that, Israel de definitely like has zero appetite to uh, occupy Gaza. Like it's like just get in, uh, hopefully take these people out, and establish something else. Maybe like the Palestinian Authority or or, or someone else. I'm not sure that they have it figured out. Obviously, I I don't know. But uh, we hope someone more rational that wants like. Um, like the betterment of their own people, because every time they've been launching like uh, rocket attacks in the past few years, over a couple of years, and every time it's a step backward for the people. Like every time the the, the Palestinian tragedies, like every war, they get less. They start one and they get less and less and less. And I'm concerned, like what's next, right? There's always like uh, people in Gaza saying this is a second Nakba, it's like a second tragedy, right? Which is like uh, it is. Uh, I, I just don't know what they're thinking when they're launching this attack, right? It's not the people. It's like Hamas, which is like ISIS that is like uh, launching. And they know that, you know, we're not going to send them flowers. Um, any other message that you have, Amit, especially to a global business audience that's now concerned about a wider regional conflict and the impact that's going to have at a time when there's other conflicts clearly going on in the world? See, my, even my dog's upset. <laughs> Um, yes, I, I think we need to like take a zoom out and understand you saw that, that you know, the US put like, uh, like sent like two aircraft carriers, the whole fleet is here, airplanes, supplies, uh, which is unprecedented, even though Israel is, is capable of defending itself in terms like, you know, three or four fronts, uh, um, uh, but this is this is a global clash, right? Between uh, definitely like Iran that is trying to like uh, flank Israel with the uh, Hezbollah from Lebanon and Hamas from uh, from the Gaza Strip, uh, in response to the potential Saudi uh, uh, Saudi accord. Uh, some people say it's like maybe like China, Iran, and and Russia like in the background, although I don't think that they have initiated this, but this is kind of the axis of people. And that's like who control the Middle East with all the resources like US uh, uh, or Russia, China, and Iran uh, that have been like uh, uh, making progress. It also like uh, um, detracts people from the issues in the Ukraine. So some people see it as just a continuation of the same thing that uh, a lot of people are paying the price for this right now. So people think this is a global um, war uh, between people who want like a, a peace and people who just want to uh, um, start fires. Yeah, well, certainly a conversation will be continued and our, our hearts go out to everyone involved. So thank you so much for joining us, especially during such a difficult time. Thanks, Amit.